Hello, my most amazing artists. This week, we are learning about the artist Alma Thomas. Alma Thomas was an expressionistic painter and art teacher, best known for her colorful, abstract paintings. Instead of painting her drawings using solid blocks of color, Alma Thomas used small brushstrokes that were very close together. Her work resembles mosaic tiles with small white spaces in between each mark. Color was the most important element of art to Alma Thomas. Have you ever been to an artist exhibition? An artist exhibition is just like an art show. This is what Alma Thomas's artworks look like when they were up at the Studio Museum in Harlem. As always, for today's lesson, use whatever you can find. If you have paint, oil pastels, crayons, markers, whatever you have. If you have a sketchbook you want to work in or you want to work in your art journal, you may do that as well. Speaking of art journals, don't forget to bring those to school for art class. What I'm doing here is I am getting started with some paints. And when Alma Thomas worked on her paintings, she would start uh, sometimes with a shape on the page. It didn't have to be in the middle. It can be wherever on your page you want to start with a single shape. So you can see here, I started with a circle shape and then I'm just using my brush going all around the shape, making little patches of color. If you have watercolor paint and you would like to try this with paint, this is one way that you can do that. Your design does not have to be in a circle. You can make your design however you would like. Alma Thomas loved to learn. She was interested in space programs and often she painted from satellite photographs. She often looked at her garden and watched its changes. She could hear the wind playing music in the trees and she loved to watch the grass color change after the rain. She enjoyed all these changes that inspired her artwork at the same time that she was learning about nature. Her creativity was inspired by science and nature. Alma Thomas loved to smile and she liked to paint with bright colors. Look closely at nature and patterns and different colors to create what makes you happy. If you notice, Alma Thomas worked to complete her entire paper. So the entire paper had color on it. So if you're going to do this method, you want to make sure you cover all the white space with little dabs of color. It takes a long time, but the end result is definitely worth it. Now friends, if you don't have paint and you still want to work on this project, you can use anything else you have. Maybe you have oil pastels. I know some friends have told me that they have some new oil pastels they got, so you can use them for this project. This time, I decided to make a shape. Again, I made a circle, and I made it in the middle of my paper this time. But I'm still using the technique learned by Alma Thomas, using these little dabs of color and I'm going all the way around my original shape. Did you know that Alma Thomas was inspired by Kandinsky? Looking at this picture, I can definitely see why. Here is one of Vasily Kandinsky's artworks. You can see where she got her inspiration. Artists are inspired by many things. They may be inspired by nature, their surroundings, books they read, magazines, movies, TV shows, music, travel, emotions, memories, their sketchbooks, other artists, and their artworks, and so much more. The list of things which may inspire artists goes on and on and on. Friends, remember if you're working with oil pastels, the best way to wash your hands is to first wipe them off with a dry paper towel before you wash them because oil and water do not mix. Now, if you don't have paint and you don't have oil pastels, you might have markers. You can use markers for this project too. You can see this time 
I'm not going to use a shape and start in the middle or on the side. I'm going to just use dabs of color in lines. This is another method that Alma Thomas used, and you might decide to use this way to make a picture. I also encourage you to maybe come up with a whole different way to make this design. Maybe you start with a different shape in the middle, like a heart or a triangle, or maybe even a square. I can't wait to see what you create. When you are the artist, you get to use your imagination to make whatever you want. So I want you to be inspired by the artwork of Alma Thomas, but you can come up with whatever you like for this project using her technique. Friends, if you are in third to fifth grade especially, I challenge you to maybe come up with an object or maybe a landscape drawing and then fill it in with the dabs of color as seen here. Until next time, friends, please remember to stay creative and send me all of the artwork that you make. I can't wait to see what you create.